Today we are testing something that completely changes how you shoot long exposure photography on your mobile. Meet Reexpose, the app that lets you capture stunning long exposure shots even without using an ND filter. Whether it is silky water, dreamy moving clouds or night light trails, this app does it all using AI motion blending and computational photography. Before we dive in, this video is sponsored by Reflex, the team behind the Reexpose. They have been pushing the limits of mobile photography for a while now, and this app really takes things to another level. We will head to the beach at the sunset for a real world test, and later we will shoot some night trails near a bridge at night to see how this app performs in different lighting conditions. So no more talking, let's get us started. The first test was by the coast, right around golden hour. The light was warm and soft, the sky had that glowing tone you only get right before sunset, and the sea was constantly shifting, calm but full of subtle movement. I set up the iPhone 16 Pro Max on a tripod, opened Reexpose and switched to motion blur mode. What I love about this part of shooting is how the light and motion start to interact. Every wave, every reflection feels alive. The app handles those transitions beautifully. It takes all those tiny movements and turns them into this fluid, almost cinematic flow. I started experimenting with different exposure times, short ones around 1 second just enough to keep the texture of the water visible and the longer ones up to 20 seconds to see how far I could push that dreamy effect. It's fascinating to watch how the entire mood of the image changes. With shorter captures, you can still feel the rhythm of the waves, but when you extend it, the water becomes soft and misty, almost like the fog drifting across the frame. What surprised me most was how balanced the highlights stayed, even without using an ND filter. No blown out areas, no harsh edges, just a smooth light and detail across the whole frame. The reflection on the wet sand, the motion of the waves, and the warm color gradient in the sky all blended together naturally. And the clouds, they were slowly moving across the horizon, stretching into soft trails that gave each shot this beautiful sense of time passing. It honestly felt like painting with light, every photo captured a few seconds of motion frozen into one clean artistic frame. For a smartphone, it's pretty incredible. It genuinely feels like shooting shooting on a mirrorless camera, but in the palm of your hand. Later that night I went out to a bridge near the road to test light trails mode, and this is where Reexpose really showed what it is capable of in low light. The whole atmosphere was completely different from the beach. The reflections on the metal, the deep shadows, the car lights passing by, each exposure felt like capturing a small slice of motion. Cars rushing through left these vivid red and white streaks across the frame, while the structure of the bridge glowed with every passing light. What I really liked was how much control I had during setup. I switched to manual focus, used focus picking to lock onto the structure of the bridge and then adjusted the shutter speed and ISO to balance the light trails with the ambient tones of the scene. That's where the app's tools really shine. The live histogram helps you check your exposure before you even take the shot, so you keep highlights clean and shadows detailed. The final result looked cinematic, glowing trails, cool blue tones from the night sky and just enough texture in the bridge to keep it sharp and real. It's the kind of photo that feels alive, full of energy and motion, and the fact that it's all done on a phone still blows my mind. Before wrapping up, I want to talk a bit about the features inside Reexpose, because this app really gives you a surprising amount of control for something running on a phone. You get full manual exposure control, just like on a mirrorless camera. You can adjust ISO, shutter speed and exposure duration with a simple slider interface that feels fast and responsive. There is also manual focus which is super helpful for precise shots and you even get focus peaking so you can see exactly where your focus point lands in real time. The app includes tools that photographers usually rely on for proper exposure like live histogram, zebra highlights and a clean grid overlay to help you line up your composition. Motion blur and light trails. Everything's laid out in a way that feels simple but you can tell it's built for creators who actually understand exposure. Overall, Reexpose feels less like a mobile app and more like a pocket-sized camera interface. 
powerful, intuitive, and designed for photographers who want full creative control over their shots. So that is my hands-on experience with Reexpose, and honestly it's one of the most creative and fun photography apps I've used recently. If you love capturing silky water, moving skies or dreamy night scenes without carrying heavy filters or gear, this app is definitely worth checking. And do not forget that you can use my code MEHRANH10 at checkout in order to get 10% off any reflex gear. And if you are into reflex community, definitely check out their Facebook group Reflex Piazza in order to share your shots and connect with other mobile creators. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.